Welcome back, guys. Um, we last left off at part nine or something. Anyways, to excuse my long absence, I have been ill for about a week. And now I am fine, so. Yay! Let's get started on The Walking Dead. And I realize episode three has been installed. Or available. Installed. To me. See anything? Not yet. What were we doing? I forget. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. I already did this. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Yeah, I already did this. Stupid. Yeah, hurry the fuck up. <sighs> I don't have all day. Come on, Lee. You see anybody? <laughs> Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Come on, is there a way I can skip this? This is dumb. Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Uh, and I added wool dish again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a pot. Just I get water. it. Just water. Yeah, I know. You know, just water. Back in Brooklyn. Oh, just water everywhere. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Yeah. Yeah, where's, where's the camera? What's in the boxes? Yeah, what's sailors. in the boxes? The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is all old news. Okay, um, I have a better alternative. I'm gonna stop the recording here and I'll start recording when we make progress. I think we're making progress. Oh, there's her hat. Don't fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. Oh, damn. Back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. The shooter. I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. Shooter. You think I won't kill you? You think I you won't kill you? And put a nice, soft arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy Screw it Screw this. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Screw this. Y'all wave them guns like you're looking to die. Don't need to go look at You fucking bitch. Holy hell. Shit. What the hell did you do that for? We had a deal with them. She was about to shoot us. She was about to shoot us both. You could have just taken her down. You didn't have to kill her. Yes, we did. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn. <laughs> <laughs> it 
It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Yeah, once they hear the gunshot. Take the crossbow. Yes. Come on. Take the ball. Come on. I made my choice. Don't have to do anything about it, Lee. Bitch needed. See, that's why when I watch those movies and they're like, put the gun down, man. Put the gun down. I'll shoot you. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy bitch down. Oh, well, yeah, I did. You're back. What happened? Lee took care of it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Whoa! This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Missing every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Want me to shoot her, too? Kenny, we're still bros, right? What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling <clears> looks <throat> like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Don't mind them. It's how they are. They can't agree on how to run things. They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. Yeah. Where's that dinner? And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cattle. That woman is a lifesaver. She helped Mark. Mark's my dad's name. I found her hat. Let's go give her her hat. Just gonna click on that and wipe my hands clean with. Uh, wait a second, I wanna talk with uh, Kevin. Kenny, Kenny, not Kevin. Who the fuck is Danny? Hey, Danny. Hello. Really like that gun. You really like that gun. What's not to like? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Fuck. <laughs> Why did he have to notice it? Pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. So if anybody's wondering, which I doubt anybody is, because I have very loyal fans. Just kidding. Nobody loves me. Um, why I'm maybe be a little bit quieter? It's because I've got a few recommendations that said, "Hey, bitch, you're talking through the dialogue. Shut the fuck up." So, whoa. And then he threatened to kill my family. But so, anyways, I'm not talking now. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second, so I can stab his brains out. Where's Kenny? Oh, Lord, I was born a rambling man. 
doing the best I can. And in the end, I hope you'll understand. I was born a rambling man. Look at the gazebo. The gazebo. Come on. Don't sprint or anything. Hey, pull hamstring. so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? Nope, we found this bitch and I shot her. We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy with a crossbow pointed right at my head. So I had to kill her. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Did you at least get some goddamn food? No, nothing. Ah, that's my knuckles. It was a mistake coming here. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. They are. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here. We don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. How do you feel about leaving the motor? <coughs> It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's about your dad. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Where's Carly? Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. Kinda like All me. he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably Not gonna really. keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I like the music. It's pretty good. Do you get the feeling something? Yeah. you get the feeling something's going on here? Fuck yeah, What I makes do. you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? I found a camera. Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I, I found a camera mean. and he's like... These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah. And we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Speaking of camera, let's see if I can go charge that motherfucker. Wait, let's head over there. <sighs> Gotta walk all the way out. <coughs> I'm sure there's such a cutscene for everything I do. Glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. But clue us about this stuff. Damn. I did. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Why well, didn't I just want to charge the camera? That would. Yeah. Doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point. Um, Gas keeps the generators going, and the generators keep the fence going. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to charge the camera and find the pictures of Danny murdering people with his gun that he loves so much because I'm so suspicious, apparently. Let's make progress, guys! There's a loading screen in it. I didn't know cows laid down like that. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. Yep. Come pet her. Where's Kenny? It's okay, Go Was ahead. he sitting there? I missed it. Whoa. 
Duchess says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. Oh. Uh, what's that? What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you depressed kids. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Can I give her her hat? There we go. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Got you. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's yeah. nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, yeah. thanks for finding my hat. Go on for Lee. Clem? Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. I'll pet the cow alone. She looks skinny. Or not. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> Kids. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Don't say duty at me. Let's check the stalls. Under the zomberts. No zomberts here. No zombies here. Where'd the music go? No zombies here. Some back here, I know it. Nope, just a bunch of clothes. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. It's Herschel's farm all over again. I just know it. What is it, Sophia? Sorry guys, Sophia's my cat, she's meowing. It's a feeding trough. Yeah, it is. Hey, stop playing with my cords. Yeah, I know, guys. I'm a Let's Player with, with a cat. So what? Get over it. Hey! Get away. Stop. Stop playing with it. <sighs> and if you want to know how I got the name for my cat, Sophia, it was actually from The Walking Dead show. The little girl named Sophia. Indeed. Hey there, Andy. You're not right. Yeah. Danny and I met a woman in the woods. She seemed to know your Ow, brother. Ow, stop biting me. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Eh, I don't want to yep. pile drive him any further. Wait, what the fuck did I just say? Wait a second, it's locked. They're you found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. <coughs> got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? Zombies. The point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. Those pliers. You me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. 
Use your head, Kenny. Oh, damn. Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Yeah. The screw. Look at the lock. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? Nope. No. Why would you say that? Well, you're. It's because I'm black. You know, urban. Oh, <laughs> not saying what I think you're saying. <laughs> Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> oh, this is good. Priceless. Okay, so I don't have a screwdriver, so. Take the lock apart. Uh, I'm not gonna take the lock apart. Just do it. Do what I fucking hmm. said to do. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on. Isn't that guy getting suspicious out. that we're yeah. standing Shut over up. here whispering? I Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Oh. About time. Kenny heard, a noise. heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. Thanks. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Yeah, I'm an excuse. I'm the fucking. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Distract Andy. Come on, Kenny, we're gonna do this, right? I'm not gonna lie. It's I have a bad hey feeling there, about Andy. this. Yeah. Where do you keep your tools? So, where do you keep the rest of the tools? Well, if you need something, just tell me what it is, and I can get it for you. Eh, not that not important. important. Why do you lock that door? Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while, raid our stuff. Even with the fence. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Let me show you a screwdriver first. All right, I got him. I got him, man. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. That's it. Fuck! I didn't find the screwdriver. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. No. <laughs> I'm gonna go check outside for a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'm going to end the video here and uh, stay tuned for part 11. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah, and now they're parts, not episodes, because I get too many complaints. See so, ya. Yeah. Oh, don't forget to like.